Recently, some exciting development of Falcon Eye has been announced and as always, a lot of speculations ensued. I want to first of all summarize some of those things we know about this new upgraded Falcon Eye, the mini big Falcon spaceship, and then offer you some of my thoughts on why SpaceX is building it. I'm Lai, let's get started. As always, this new change was announced by Elon on Twitter. After paying $20 million for the Tesla mishap, Elon is back to being himself. Welcome back. The tweet that started all the BFR craze is this one of Elon saying, Falcon Eye second stage will be upgraded to be like a mini BFR ship. I couldn't remember where I read it, but there were definitely rumors saying that SpaceX will test BFS on top of Falcon Eye a while ago, even before Elon Musk announced it. This tweet was followed by Team Dad, the everyday astronaut, asking Elon a great question on the reusability of the upgraded second stage. Before you get all psyched about it, the answer given by Elon is no, the mini BFR will not be landing propulsively. It looks like we'll have to wait for the actual BFR for full reusability in space exploration. Elon has also revealed some additional aspects of the mini BFR. Specifically, the purpose of mini BFR is to test the ultralight heat shield and HIMARS control surfaces. HIMARS control surfaces are the flaps of wings that come with the new design of BFS. This is not something SpaceX can test on the ground. Additionally, BFR's flip maneuver will be tested on the ground at Boca Chica, Texas, rather than with this modification. We can expect the first launch of Mini BFR to start no earlier than June 2019, which is a very aggressive timeline. And therefore, all these changes indicate clearly that we should not be too romantic about what this new BFR is. It is, in my opinion, probably an incremental upgrade to what Falcon 9 already is. Testing a modified upper stage with a new ultralight heat shield and a modified control surfaces during re-entry. But on the other hand, there are several exciting points about this new change. First of all, there is a possibility that the new Raptor engine will be used for the upgraded upper stage. Raptor is the next generation engine SpaceX has developed for BFR. It is twice as powerful as Merlin engine used in Falcon Eye and SpaceX has started its tests since summer 2016. Therefore, after three years of testing, it could be featured in the upgraded mini BFS to gather real-life data for future developments and upgrades. However, personally, I think Raptor engine is more likely to be featured in top tests first, similar to grasshoppers, before used in commercial missions. Therefore, I do not expect Raptor engines to be used in mini BFS next year. Secondly, the more exciting question is, how will this affect the reusability of Falcon 9? Although the mini BFS most definitely would not land propulsively as Elon confirmed, I do think that recovering the mini BFS is a possibility. A few months ago, Elon mentioned on his Twitter that SpaceX is going to land its upper stage with a giant party balloon and a bouncy house. This could be what mini BFS is all about. With the fins designed for BFS and the ultralight heat shield, mini BFS will be able to slow down aerodynamically and all that's left is a bouncy house for the landing. I talked about that in a previous video, I'll link it. Lastly, this development could bring an interesting change to Starlink. If you have been following SpaceX bid to increase connectivity by sending thousands of communication satellites to space, the timeframe a mini BFS launches does coincide with SpaceX's original plan to start launching its own satellites. Both are now scheduled to happen between mid to end 2019. Now with a supposedly more powerful mini BFS, SpaceX could send experiment launches with the upgraded Falcon Eye carrying Starlink's communication satellites. What I want to point out that many of you might have neglected is that BFS is the most important structure that needs validation in the upcoming Big Falcon rocket. For the longest time, we have been focusing on the reusability of Falcon Eye as we should be. That's why we're very happy to see first stage landings. But I think we're now moving away from that as SpaceX masters first stage landing. Second stage re-entry becomes a more important and a more untested area of expertise that SpaceX has to master in order to stride forward with BFR. Reading through the Reddit discussion of this new development, I can feel the passion and expectation enthusiasts have for this change. But it should, in my opinion, be a more incremental and iterative change than a radical one. It's called a mini Big Falcon spaceship by Elon Musk in his tweet. But Elon has always been a romantic when it comes to space and rockets. 
as an engineer myself and probably could be supported by many of you guys who are also engineers, making a sophisticated machine is an extremely hard and tedious process. You start with the design of the rocket and slowly work your way to the final product with relentless testing and troubleshooting. This is what I think the Mini BFR ship is all about. Testing certain design aspect of the rocket so that the final product, the BFR, will be a success. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below. If you have a great design of the Mini BFR spaceship, definitely send me a link to that particular image. I'll maybe share it on my Instagram or, or on my Twitter. I, I would love to see that beautiful rendering of yours. Also, I want to give a special appreciation to my supporters on Patreon. Andy Haslam, Brave72, Omega 21, Gludemus, as well as Kai Lun. Welcome to Curious Elephant. If you're interested in well-researched technology videos in the area of space, electric vehicles, as well as sometimes smartphone hardware, definitely subscribe to this channel and perhaps follow me at Lay Creatives on my social media. If you're interested in perhaps extra content and maybe weigh in on my future productions, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.